In this video, I'll show you how to quickly test your conditional formatting rules with dummy formulas. When you apply conditional formatting with formulas, it can be hard to get the formulas to work properly because you can't see what's happening to the formula when the rule is applied. Dummy formulas let you visualize how formulas will behave before you create a rule. Let me illustrate with a very simple example. Let's say you want to highlight values over 100 in this set of data. To start off, I'll pick an area to the side of the data lined up with the rows. Next, I'll write the first formula relative to the upper left cell in the data. In this case, that cell has the address B4, so the formula is B4 is greater than 100. Now I'll copy this formula across and down. Notice we get a true or false result in every cell. If I check a few references, you can see that each formula is evaluating a cell in the data relative to B4. Now imagine these results transposed directly on top of the data. Where you see a true value, formatting will be applied. Where you see false, nothing happens. This dummy formula looks good, so let's try it out in a conditional formatting rule. First, I need to copy the dummy formula. Then I select the data and create the new rule. In the formula area, I simply paste the formula we tested. Then I set the format and save the rule. All values over 100 are highlighted, exactly as predicted by the dummy formulas. Now let's try the same idea with a more complicated formula. Let's highlight rows in this table with a priority of A. As before, the first step is to figure out where to put the dummy formulas. We've got plenty of room to the right, so I'll start in cell G5. Since we want to highlight tasks with a priority of A, let's try B5 equals A. When I copy the formulas, you can see that this won't work. We want to highlight entire rows, so I need to adjust the formula to lock the column reference by adding a dollar sign. Now the dummy formulas work. We get a full row of trues when the priority is A. Let's try the formula out in a conditional formatting rule, following the same process as before. After I save the rule, the formatting is applied perfectly the first time. The next time you need to apply conditional formatting with a more challenging formula, set up dummy formulas next to the data. By working directly on the worksheet, you have full access to all of Excel's formula tools. You can easily adjust the formula until it works perfectly.